What's up, Internet? Dice Crick here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to type in Japanese on an English keyboard on a Windows 10 operating system, and it also works for most of the other Windows operating systems before it. It just might be slightly different in the process of how to download the Japanese language pack so that your computer can do this. And also, after that, I'm going to give you some basic tips on how to actually use the typing on the computer, and following that, I'll also have a special little bonus for you, so make sure you stay for the end of the video. So let's get started. Now if we take a look on our keyboard here, or on our computer, you'll see I have my mouse here, you can see where I'm clicking, and we're gonna go to the bottom corner right here where your start menu is. You can click on this and either go to the settings icon, which is this little uh, cog here, or you could type in here settings. And so we're gonna go to our settings, then when we're inside of here we're gonna go to time and language, and when we click on that, if you look on the far side over here, you'll see a language tab. Go ahead and give that a click. And then, at the bottom here, you can see preferred languages. And on my computer, I actually have English and I have Japanese already. So, I'm going to click on Japanese and remove that so that I can show you how to install it, okay? Now, you're going to click on add a language. Then, I'll go to this little toolbar up here and I will type in Japan. And right there, we have Japanese popping up. So I'm going to click on that and click next. After I click next, it'll have all of these options. I want to install the language pack. I do not want to set it as my Windows display language. Uh, that Just don't do that. Uh, next we have text-to-speech. That just means you'll be able to use your microphone to do some text-to-speech stuff later. Uh, also, we have speech recognition and handwriting. Uh, just go ahead and leave those on just in case you get really into it later. And then we're going to click install. Now, as this is installing, you can see it's pending down here. It has all my languages. You can do that for Russian or any other language that you want to as well. And in this bottom corner of my computer, you can see this little thing that says English or ENG. Sometimes you might have to click up here or just uh, look on your toolbar at the bottom. Now, when I click on this, it actually has English and Japanese. Okay, so let's exit this. We don't need that anymore. Let's open a Word document, okay? So once we open the Word document, I'm gonna show you how to basically type in Japanese, okay? Okay, now that we have a Word document, let's open that up. And I put it at 48 so that you guys can see it. Um, you'll notice in the bottom corner here, the word, or the letters ENG. Uh, that is saying that you have your English keyboard on. So we're gonna click on ENG and you'll notice that your Japanese keyboard is right there. So we're gonna click on Japanese and you'll notice this little circle with a J in it. That means you have your Japanese keyboard on and right next to it is a capital A uh, in English. Basically, that just means that it's gonna type in regular English characters still. So I can type in A or Ka or Aka um, and it still is in English characters. To switch it over, you're gonna click on the A and it'll turn into an A. Uh, an ah character in hiragana. So, now if I type in ah, bam, it's straight up in in hiragana, <laughs> showing that up. And then if I wanted to put ka, I would just put k, and then an a, and we have a hiragana ka. Now if I wanted to change that to katakana, then let's say I wanted to say the word kado, okay? I would put ka, and then I would click the dash, in order to put the extension, like the OO extension, and then DO. And you'll notice this column right below the word. Basically, this is showing you all the different variations that you can go from from there. And I want to use the katakana, because that's how we say KADO, or uh, if you see my other video, uh, credit card. So, bam, we have KADO in katakana. So, let's say we wanted to do a sentence, or let's say we wanted to do a kanji. Maybe you guys know Watashi, which means I. And so I typed in Watashi, and I know that the kanji is right here. So I click on the kanji that I want, and I got Watashi. And now I have no, which is a particle suggesting that you have ownership of something. So my or mine, right now that's what I got written. And let's say Neko, okay? And I know the kanji for Neko is right here. So I want to use that kanji. Neko means cat. So my cat, ga, which is a particle for 
marking the object of the sentence. And then I'm gonna say, Watashi no neko ga baku hatsu utsu desu. And I'll put a period, which comes out to a maru. So, now we have the sentence, Watashi no neko ga baku hatsu butsu desu, which translates to, my cat is an explosive. Yeah, I want to see a skit of that. Let's check it out. Oi! Abunai! Watashi no neko ga baku hatsu butsu desu. Hon- Honto desu ka? So this.